Can you give uh, your favorite Bob Sundin story? And if you can't remember what it is, I'm going to refresh your memory and say that it involves no. a scale. Yeah, I was about to say, you don't okay. have to refresh my memory. Okay, it just is have to check. Because, well, there's another one too. The other one was when like he stood up from a lift and hit his head on a branch and then grabbed the branch and ran it in another direction and had a look of murder on his face, trying to rip this limb off this tree. And Jason and I were, I mean, Jason and I, we never take anything too seriously. So we can just make eye contact sometimes. And, you know, we're oh, yeah. basically, he's basically my spirit animal. So we can make eye contact and just fucking lose it, you know? Yeah. Well, this one day, Bob, I think, I honestly think it was the first day Bob went over 300 on V-Bar. And, you know, Bob wasn't one of these people that was going to like broadcast it to everybody and put like 98 hashtags there. Like, hey, look at me. Look what I did. He was one of those guys that was like, I want a record of the fact that I did this thing. He's you know, recording lifts. He's, he's, yeah, he's, he's not one attention. He's just recording lifts. Right. Documenting Cause, cause the way lifts. I explained it to Bob was when I grew up, when I was growing up, I mean, the, the amount of fucking like 400 pound bench pressers in high school was phenomenal. I mean, you never had video of it, but they would tell you about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody within earshot would hear about you know, they're, they're amazing lifts that always seem to get heavier over the years. You know, mm -hmm. I was one of those people I was like, no, nah, I want actual footage of what I did. I don't want to be one of these people that's like, you know, bragging about what I did when I was older, you know, and I got to engage in all this hyperbole. So everyone thinks I'm fucking cool or something, you know? So Bob is kind of like that. He wants a record of what he did, but he doesn't, you know, it's not like he's, he knows it's a training lift, you know? So he checks the scale. Scale goes on. It's fine. He pulls the 300 pounds. And I mean, he had this one camera that he used to use. And I swear it looked like that old Van Halen video with the, with the walleye vision. Like it was like, I, it looked like everything he filmed was underwater, you know? So, so he pulls off the lift and then he puts it on the scale and he's hitting the button and the fucking thing won't go on. And he takes it off and hits the button again puts it on the scale, hits the button. So Jason and I are watching this and we can see Bob kind of unraveling. So he scoops it up and he grabs the scale like a fucking pizza box. He walks over to his garbage can because we're in the backyard. He lifts the lid and he just fucking whacks it in there as hard as he can, slams the lid and disappears into the house. Jason and I are fucking nonplussed. We're just looking at each other like, what is going on? 20 seconds later, with the coolest fucking look on his face I've ever seen, like nothing just happened. Bob walks out with a box. And inside the box is a brand new scale. And it's the same fucking scale he just threw in the garbage. <laughs> Jason and I, we fucking, I, I mean, we laughed so hard. I don't think, I, I still this day, I think only <laughs> one other time did I laugh until I felt like I was having a neurological problem. You know yeah, what I mean? No, I, <laughs> I was laughing that hard at the visual of this. You know, it was it was pretty great. Yeah, because yeah. like it's, it's it's one thing if he like you said he picks it up like a pizza box and he just slam dunks it in the trash can and then you think it's over, <laughs> but then it's like no, he's gonna come back out with a perfectly brand new <laughs> boxed one. And it's just like that just like tops it off. So yeah. Takes that's... it out as cool as a cucumber, removes it, you know, puts it yeah. down, turns it on, just like nothing happened. And honestly, <laughs> when he went into the house, Jason and I are like, we both had the same thought, like, is that it? Like is training over? Is, yeah. is did Bob just disappear for the day? Is that just like was that just somehow the straw that broke yeah. the camel's back? And oh, now sure. Bob has decided that the day is over. That's and then funny. like seconds later. And we just, uh, I can't remember which one of us said it was like, Bob, do you have like a filing cabinet in there or something with like just scales in it? Like just brand new scales, just in case some backups. 